What up, YouTubers? How's it going? So today I'm going to be talking about visual effects. Um, that's actually something I do a lot. Check out Scott EW's video, Limbo. Uh, I just did some visual effects on it. Hopefully you watched it. It's really funny and really cool. Um, that was actually really hard to do. So I'm going to talk about how I did those effects. Cool. So in the Limbo video, I had to remove a couple things. I had to remove people. I had to remove uh, cars. I had to remove signs. I had to remove uh, the cart mainly and people pushing the cart. So a lot of different things. And the way you do that is when you shoot it, um, um, you want to make sure that first off the cart's not going in front of your subject. You want to keep your subject um, as pure and as clean as possible and keep things um, whether we had a board coming out from behind him. So we did that and um, we made sure that nothing ever went in front of him. But when you're doing a shot like this, you want to make sure a couple of things. Make sure that um, for, for this, we did all the cam the cameras on a tripod so that it was locked off and it was easy. I didn't have to track any camera movement. I only had to track our subject. And then you want to shoot a blank slate, basically something that I can use to paint in where nothing was. Um, I'll show you how I did that as well. Check it out. So in Scott's Limbo video, there's a couple things I had challenges with. Um, we had to remove people, we had to remove the cart, we had cars moving in the background really far away, and occasionally we had some things cross in front. This was definitely one of the most challenging shots to do because, um, as we can see right here, um, Brendan was walking um, behind the cart, so we basically lost all information um, of his legs. So. I had to go back to previous frames, I actually have some video from before he walks in, and cut out his legs and animate his legs a little bit, and it hides just well enough where you can't tell, and we cropped in so that helped hide some stuff. So um, make sure that uh, your subject doesn't walk in front of, or behind a cart, and if he does, make sure you get a blank shot of him walking. So compositing is basically combining a bunch of different layers in order to, to remove or add something. For example, look, I added myself. I be in the video hey, what's too. up, self? No. I want to get out of here. I wanna See, be in the video. that easy. I wanna be... Basically, all I did for that was pretty much cut out this part of the screen and uh, had the other video come in right there. Um, the nice thing is I have controlled lighting, so it's a lot easier. When you're outside, sometimes you have clouds going in front of the way and the light changes, so I had to animate the exposure and uh, the curves or levels. After that, I added some camera motion to make it feel a little more handheld so it wasn't just locked off shots. And uh, that was about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed Scott's video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's really cool. And if you like these kind of videos where I break down some of the things I do, um, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on the social medias. And um, we will see you guys later.